So, when Daniel O'Connell set up the cemetery in 1832, one of the first rules he made was to make it a non-denominal cemetery, so people of all religions, or people of no religions, could be buried here. And that allowed them to open the gates to anybody from any walk of life to be buried in Glasnevin Cemetery. And following that, you really do have a mirror of Irish society of people buried up here. And sometimes, they make strange bedfellows because where you've a socialist buried you've one of the biggest capitalists buried alongside of them where you have a religious person you have an agnostic and where you have one type of soldier you might have a revolutionary who fought against him buried beside him that's the case like richard simpson now richard simpson was from belfast he was presbyterian in faith and when they took out the ulster covenant in 1913 he was one of the first people to sign it. He also joined the Ulster Volunteer Force to fight against Home Rule if it came to Ireland. When World War I broke out, the Ulster Volunteer Force went into the British Army. But when they were doing this, they found that Richard Simpson had bad lungs, so they couldn't send him over sea. So they posted him down to Dublin to Wellington Barracks, which is now Griffith Barracks. And when he got down there, he was a soldier in Wellington Barracks until the 22nd of April 1916, when three of his friends went into his room and they found him lying dead on the floor and a strong smell of gas in the room. His body was taken to the morgue and a coroner's inquest was ordered. But two days later, the rebellion broke out and everything was forgotten about Richard Simpson. Now during the rebellion they put a cordon around the city and there was no funerals taking place and in the first week in May they started bringing bodies up to Glasnevin 50 at a time and Richard Simpson was placed in amongst these bodies. And so he was brought to Glasnevin and he was buried in the Republican plot with men from the Irish Citizen Army and men from the Irish Volunteers who had been in open rebellion and lying with them all is Richard Simpson in the uniform of a British Army soldier and a man that swore a covenant to Ulster.